Once we've created and configured our site's pages, one of the first things we'll want to do is add content to them. And content comes in many different forms, be it a paragraph of text, an image, a web form, or a plugin from a third-party extension. And to handle content in Typo3, we use content elements. Content elements are objects that we can translate, set publish and expiry dates for, and we can even reference them in multiple places in our Typo3 site. In this example, our graphic designer has given us a mock-up of how they'd like our new pizza website to look. From the illustration, we can see that we're going to need to add several different types of content elements to our new homepage. This includes a header, an image, and a collection of cards at the bottom of the page that each contain an image, a subtitle, and text. If we want to build out this page in Typo3, we'll need to make use of several different types of content elements to achieve the desired look and feel. In this short video, we're going to do three things. To begin, we'll take a detailed look at all of the different content elements that ship with Typo3 and discuss when best to use them. We'll then go ahead and add some of these content elements to an example page. And to finish off, we'll go ahead and build out our new pizza restaurant homepage using a third-party extension called the Bootstrap Package. Let's make a start by taking a closer look at the default content elements that ship with Typo3. As you can see, my rather basic restaurant website is completely empty with no content on it. Let's head over to Typo3's backend and add some content to the About page of my site. So I'm logged in and I've selected my About page. Next, I'm going to select Create New Content. And to the left, we can see that all of the content elements available to us are grouped and categorized by type on the left-hand side. And the first option, Typical page content is exactly that. It's a collection of the most commonly used content elements, such as text, images, and media, such as video content. Next, we have lists, which allow us to structure content, such as a list of bullet points, and even a list of files that users can download items from. The table content element is also here, and is extremely useful and highly customizable. Next, we have menus, which contains a collection of content elements that allow us to build custom menus. The sitemap content element is also a type of menu and is worth using on any project. Form elements. If we create a form in Typo3 and want it to be accessible to the world, we'll need to use the form content element and link back to our form. If we want to create a restricted section on our website, then we'll need to use the login form content element to allow users to log in. Then we have special elements, where we can link to other content elements, insert dividers, and also embed HTML onto our pages. If you have any third-party extensions installed, like the news or blog extensions, they will be accessible from an additional tab called plugins. To find content elements quicker, we can also use the search bar at the top of the window. Let's now head back to the typical page content tab and start using some of these content elements. So I want to add a few paragraphs to text and an image. So I'm going to use a text and images content element. To begin, I'm going to add a header and I want it to be a H1. Then I'm going to paste in my example text and make the opening paragraph bold. Next, I want to add an image and have it set to the right hand side of my text. I head to the images tab and select image. I then select the Images folder and choose an image. And then I'm going to position it. Let's view our changes in the front end. And there we go. To finish, let's use the Bootstrap package to build out the pizza page we talked about at the start of the video. Now the Bootstrap package is a Typo3 extension that provides a set of pre-configured, responsive templates and enhanced content elements such as image sliders, card groups and more. It is possible and fairly easy to create your own custom content elements in Typo3, but for the majority of use cases, the content elements that ship with the Bootstrap package are more than adequate and are also made to a very high standard. If we go back to our design, we can see roughly that we'll need to add some sort of banner image with text and three items underneath containing an image, a title, and some text. 
So I've installed the Bootstrap package and I've added some links in the show notes explaining how I did that. I've selected the home page of my page tree and now it's time to start adding our new content elements. The first one I'm going to add is the carousel content element and that's found in the interactive section on the left hand side. I'm going to give it a title. Style it like a H1. Align it to the left and also link to an internal page. Then I'm going to add my background image and then preview it in the front end. Okay, so that's my banner. Next, I want to add three items in a horizontal row underneath. To do that, I'm going to need the card group content element. Let's create our first card item, give it a name, attach an image and some text and link it to a page. Now, if I go ahead and preview this, something doesn't look quite right. This card item is taken up more than a third of the page. Something isn't right, so let's go back and check. Yep, I need to change this so it's set to three columns. Okay, let's now go and add our two additional card items. And there we have it, our example pizza site using the Bootstrap package extension. Thank you for watching and check out docs.typer3.org to find out more.